How do hundreds of people breach what should be one of the most secure buildings in the United States? Why were Capitol Police so few in numbers on a day when large crowds of protesters would be gathering? And why did it take so long to get the situation under control? Lawmakers are demanding answers from the U.S. Capitol Police in the aftermath of the siege. Former Lexington Police Chief Anthony Beatty talked to LEX 18 Sophia Millar about this massive security failure. The powerful images of insurgents overrunning police at the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday are something former Lexington Police Chief Anthony Beatty thought he'd never see. It's a stain. It's a, it's a black eye not only, only for our country, but particularly law enforcement. Uh, right from the onset, uh, everybody could see in real time that uh, something was not right there and how this was being handled. Beatty led a 34-year career in law enforcement. He says intelligence is always gathered ahead of large-scale events to determine how security should be handled. It's one of those cases where we would always plan and replan and we plan for the worst. And we would hope that we'd not have to use all the resources, but we would have them in place just in case. We could not, uh, in, in an emerging contingency situation, we could not wait to put those things together. So you pre-plan that, pre-stake it, and be ready to go. Washington, D.C. has been ground zero for demonstrations over the years. Beatty says because of its track record, there's no excuse for how underprepared security officials were to handle the crowd. I hate to say it, but in most cases, there's not a whole lot of planning that they would have to do, just tweak the plans that they have in place. That did not seem to happen. I can't put my finger on what was amiss here, but there was something that was just not right in handling a crowd that size and allow it to move as freely through our our capital is a deal. With countless questions up in the air, Beatty says one thing he can predict is the U.S. Capitol security failure will be studied and studied again as law enforcement revamp their own protocol going forward. Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News.